get ready, because you about to be an ATLE. Let's go ahead and talk about Wendy Williams. Now, y'all saw uh, Friday when she did that shoe cam video and she had that little magical music playing behind her. And she was like, oh, my God, play it again, play it again, play it again. And it went on for like three or four minutes. Blue, blue, blue. And she just kept going. It's like, what is going on with you, Wendy? Are you I often think in my apartment about the shoe cam music. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, and it's like, what is going on with you, Wendy? Are you really feeling this music? It was almost like, you know, well, look, I've never been high on acid or any of that. But a lot of people say when you get high, there's certain things that, you know, make you feel tingly inside. And I guess that music, you know, triggered some of her neurons and had her dancing around and stuff. So Today, when she returned back to the show, she acknowledged that something was a myth, was you know wrong. She acknowledged that you know things weren't quite right. She said that um, you know she was okay, uh, that she just been working really hard, and she you know just feel you know that y'all need to understand that it's just hard work, you know, coming to work every day and being you know in front of the camera for y'all for the world to see. So. <laughs> I always say I love you for watching because I really, really do. Uh, you know, I come here every day and I try to do the best that I can for you. Um, I appreciate you watching. Um, but it's, you know, even after all of these years, it's still work. You know, an effort put in for the hour that I'm out here with you, you know? I guess every day is not perfect, but I'm not a perfectionist. I'm, I'm not perfect. But I do appreciate you putting in the effort to watch us. And I, I love entertaining you, you know? It is not easy. You're a tough crowd. Let's see. So, you know, y'all gonna give her a pass for the way she was acting Thursday and Friday. Uh, y'all just gonna like, you know, just just uh keep talking about she was high. I don't know. I just feel like it, it might have been some kind of prescription. It might have been something that she's taking. But whatever it was, I feel like the production, the people around her, somebody should have said something and stopped her from getting in front of that camera. Now, we talked about this a little bit earlier today on Patreon, right? So it was my thoughts that, you know, it's so many people that's eating off Wendy right now. She has her she has her uh, production staff. She has her assistants. She has the cameramen. She has the production company. She has everyone that is depending on her to show up and sit in that chair every day. And because of that, none of these people are going to, you know, say, hey, there's an issue she need to take off. Because if she takes off, they take off and they don't get paid. So it's like all of these people who, you know, have an interest in keeping her, you know, posted up and sitting in front on this camera regardless of you know what is going on with her that being said dj booth her dj actually uh said a little something earlier shout out to the jasmine brand for uh bringing it to light he said that uh he was responding to someone up under a post. Somebody was like, Wendy, you need to stop your show and seriously get help. Exactly what I've been saying. Your camp is just watching you spiral instead of sending help. Shame on them. I'll be boycotting the show until you get checked into rehab. Drugs will kill you. Please get help. So then somebody said she don't listen to them. Probably why DJ Booth left the show. And then he responded. Yep, exactly. And all will come out. Y'all have no idea what's really going on. And everyone there is afraid to speak up because they don't want to lose their jobs. This is going to play out bad. I feel sorry for the workers and victims. Have a blessed day. So the, you know, the DJ, you know, pretty much said what we all been thinking, you know, there's something going on and nobody is taking accountability and stopping her from working. Um, 
I, yeah, you know, when I said send prayers up, it's a bunch of y'all like, I ain't praying for her hell. She be like laughing at everybody else's downfall. We going to laugh at her downfall. But, you know, you shouldn't be like her. <laughs> you should be like her. Everybody deserves, you know, a little bit of sympathy, a little bit of empathy. It's just my opinion. You know, if you haven't been affected by her, you know, generally she was just doing her job when she reads these celebrities. Am I right? Am I wrong? And so um, when we see a bunch of people, you know, benefiting from, you know, her downfall, her spiral, it, you know, I don't know. We, <sighs> the audience, you're right. The audience don't make it better. Like we don't make it better constantly criticizing, constantly watching what, you know, people are saying that they're going to boycott until she get it together. But how you going to know she getting it together if you're not watching? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, there's that. You said Booth knows her, knows her. He used to hang out with her at her apartment. No telling what he saw. Exactly, Antonio. And so if he's coming out and he's saying, you know, he worked with her for, for years. And, you know, anytime you work with somebody in close proximity, you see things anyway, regardless of if he had hung out with her or not. I'm sure he knows a lot that, you know, he probably can't speak on. But you know, the little bit that he said is quite enough. You said victims. Is she Wendy Kelly? <laughs> Good question. Good question. Um, I don't know. Perhaps, you know, when when when, pe when he says victims, he means the people around her who are a victim of her behavior. Perhaps, you know, her guest or anybody else. Like she said some things or her staff. You know, I'm sure, you know, if she is not in her right mind, she's not treating her staff appropriately. That's that's all I can think about. But there's that. He's burning to talk, I guess. Uh, and Booth was clear when he said staff and victims. He was, he was, he said it, he said it. He said, I feel sorry for the workers and victims. So um, hopefully, you know, Wendy will come out of her, whatever it is she's on or whatever it is she's doing. Um, you know, maybe she, you know, watched it back and she feels some kind of way, but she did show up to work. She did show up to work and she sat there, humiliation and all, and kept going. So, I mean, you got to give her a little bit for, for that, I guess. I guess. Menopause, thyroid medication, legs, feet swelling, medication, maybe antidepressants with drinking. It could be a lot of things, but all of those things you need to, like, get a hold of before you get on camera. Just, you know, my opinion. In my opinion. Wendy seemed to treat her staff very nicely when they used to show her going backstage after the show. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm sure they had to sign a non disclosure. I'm sure there was a lot of non disclosures in place. You said Nene about to take us. <laughs> well, that may be true. Now. Yeah.